Hey guys, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today I want to share with you some of my minimal spring favorites and these are going to be the experiences, ideas, and things that have really added a lot of value to my life in the past few months. So I'm excited to have kind of just a chill talk with you guys today and share those with you. Um, I guess the first item that we can talk about is actually this tea mug that I recently purchased uh, probably like two weeks ago from a local store called Covet Atelier right here in Charlotte. And I love this shop because they sell only locally made items in the Carolinas. And when I first saw this mug, I just kind of fell in love with it. It's all the things that I love, you know, supporting local businesses, handmade pottery, you know, supporting my love of tea as well. So when I saw this, this is just something I knew I wanted to bring into my life. And yeah, I've been absolutely loving it uh, for, you know, having my daily teas. Uh, of course, and yeah, it's just a really beautiful piece that I've really been enjoying and getting a lot of value from. I definitely have been getting value from some clothing items over the past few months, so I wanted to share a few of those with you as well. Uh, first off, I actually invested in a set of Girlfriend Collective activewear this season. So I got the Palmona bra and the matching high-waisted leggings. This is in the color Dusty Rose, and I love Girlfriend Collective because they're a company that's not only ethical in the sense that they really believe in supporting their workers and paying them living wages, but they're also a very sustainable brand. They use recycled plastic in the making of all of their pieces of clothing and you know brands like that are definitely ones that I want to support. And in the past few months I've really been trying to focus on being more active and working out more frequently, uh, but I really didn't have any active wear to speak of, uh, so I did invest in a couple of secondhand items, but I also wanted to get uh, a set of activewear from Girlfriend Collective that's something that I've been looking at and kind of had on my wish list for quite a while um, and have really just been loving this purchase overall. The color, the comfort, um, and the utility of these items has been amazing. Another few items of clothing that I've been loving have come from the Organic Basics Soft Touch um, Intimates collection and these are made out of Lyocell Tencel which is a sustainable fiber that can be used for clothing. These are some of the most comfortable pieces of uh, bras, underwears, and like basics that you could possibly put on. Um, I've absolutely been loving this particular bra in the nude color, which is almost like a light purple. Um, I think it's really beautiful. The design of it is gorgeous. And Organic Basics undergarments are really just things that you can live in 24 seven. I know that I definitely do. I think every single one of my bras at this point is from Organic Basics and I'm not mad about it. And then the other piece from their line that I've really been loving is this tank top. And this is a great piece for just being able to layer underneath clothes. It's really comfortable and it just kind of like goes with absolutely uh, whatever you're wearing because it does kind of like blend in with your skin tone while also just giving like a tiny little bit of color. And then the last item of clothing, or perhaps this is an accessory, uh, this is the Encircled Black Scrunchie. And I only own one scrunchie and I got this I think in like probably February or January, but I've been loving it this spring. Um, I've recently started wearing my hair up a lot more frequently um, in buns and things like that. And so this has really come in handy. It kind of helps me create, craft the perfect bun, if you will. And I think it's really cool that Encircled actually makes all of their scrunchies from dead stock fabrics. So rather than letting the extra you know, material that they have go to waste, they're able to make something that's really practical and I think looks pretty good too. And something that has been an absolute savior for me, especially while I was in my Costa Rica, Hawaii trip, uh, was my Ana Luisa jewelry and specifically my moonstone ring. So I actually accidentally forgot to bring my engagement and wedding ring with me on vacation, which is really strange because I you know, don't normally take those things off even for sleeping or whatever. Uh, but I just completely forgot my jewelry at home. Um, and so I kind of feel a little bit naked without a ring on my you know, wedding ring finger, fourth finger. But yeah, I had actually packed in my small little jewelry tin, my Ana Luisa jewelry and ring, and was able to wear that during the entire trip as just kind of like a replacement to my wedding ring, just be like, hi world, I'm married, <laughs> um, which was 
absolutely amazing and uh, I just loved it because I packed only gold jewelry so I brought my horn necklace with me my moonstone ring and a couple of other necklaces um, and was just able to mix and match them the entire trip but I just loved how seamlessly it coordinated with my clothes and the fact that you know I had my moonstone ring when I most needed it but yeah the pieces are beautiful absolutely gorgeous um, wear really well and obviously come in handy as well too um, if you guys are interested in any of their pieces of jewelry, whether you're looking for really minimal pieces or just timeless styles of jewelry that can last you for years and years, you guys know I've partnered up with Annalisa before and I believe my code Ashlyn10 still works, so uh, I'll leave the link for that below in the description box. But if you guys are interested in any of their pieces, definitely go ahead and check them out. They're really high quality and if that's something that you can get value from too, definitely check them out. Next up, I just have a couple of beauty items. First off is this Elite Cosmetics uh, eyeshadow palette. And this is a very small, minimal eyeshadow palette, if you will, but I have been loving it. Uh, it only has three colors. It has this really nice, creamy, slightly warm tone color, this like rosy pink color, which I am obsessed with. And then this pinky brown color. And these are three really versatile Ashlyn colors, if you will. Um, and so I've been wearing these on a daily basis and really been loving not only just the compact size of this particular makeup palette, but really just how, you know, portable it is and how easy to wear those colors are. They last forever, are really high quality, and I've really just been loving that particular palette. And then the other beauty item, it's maybe not as traditional, but it's really just coconut oil. And I've been using coconut oil as an eye makeup remover lately and it just works so incredibly well in a natural way and I just have stuck it in this little pot and whenever I run out I just refill it uh, but it's just this tiny little miracle worker that without any kind of fuss or anything like that can remove all my eye makeup so I've been loving that as well and then let's go ahead and talk about food this is the Oatly brand oat milk and I am severely lactose intolerant for those of you who don't know so I eat mostly dairy free um, and definitely when it comes to milk and stuff like that, 100% dairy free. Um, but I have been absolutely obsessed with this Oatly brand of oat milk. Um, I feel like a good oat milk satisfies like my desire for the taste of milk in a way that almond milk and coconut milk just, just can't. Uh, so I actually prefer the taste of Oatly to regular milk and things like teas, coffees, even cereal. So I've just been completely in heaven since our local Target started stocking Oatly oat milk. And yeah. This guy has become uh, definitely a regular purchase in our house. Now another food favorite of the month for me actually came from our Hawaii trip. Uh, while we were in Maui, I had a friend who lives there uh, and she was able to recommend some amazing food locations. But one of the places she recommended in particular was called Ulani's Shave Ice. And it was so incredible. They actually uh, do like natural flavors. So they use 100% cane sugar to make their syrups. And they also use like the actual fruit to make the fruit flavors. So I had, I believe it was coconut, passion fruit, and mango shave ice um, with like coconut ice cream in the bottom. And it was mind blowing. Like it changed my, you know, opinion of what shaved ice can be as a dessert was absolutely delicious and we were actually able to watch it during one of these like fabulously gorgeous Maui sunsets and that was just a really special moment and some really delicious food. Okay, a music favorite from this month was actually Christopher's Chill Playlist and Christopher is like the master of creating, you know, just good vibe playlists, I guess you can call them. Uh, but it's a massive playlist that I listened to throughout pretty much our entire trip. Um, whether we were traveling or I was lounging by the pool, any of those different situations and many, many more. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave the link to it actually below, but it's just an amazing playlist that has so a good variety of like, just like chill and acoustic songs, which really tends to be the music that I thrive on besides my like super indie music, but you know, not everybody else is into that, but this chill playlist is just something that like we could all listen to and enjoy. I guess this one can kind of fall into the category of lifestyle, if you will. So I guess we'll call it a lifestyle favorite of this month for me was when I was in Costa Rica, we were actually doing yoga classes on an everyday basis and I've never practiced yoga super regularly, 
but those classes made me really want to get into it. I really just enjoyed being able to stretch and move my body and really feel uh, just so much better, um, you know, not only just physically, but also mentally. Uh, I feel like yoga has so many more benefits as like a form of like, you know, than simply, I guess, just as a form of exercise. So that was something that I loved, kind of changed my perspective a little bit and definitely got a lot of value from. Um, it's something that I'm hoping to be able to continue doing now that I'm back here in Charlotte. Need to figure out exactly, you know, where and such but definitely on my list of things I want to do. And then let's go ahead and finish this off with a few experiences from the spring, which honestly might have been some of the best experiences of my entire life. Uh, first off, when we went snorkeling in Hawaii, I was like expecting some random fish, it to be pretty, but dude, the snorkeling in Maui in particular was just mind-blowingly beautiful. We saw, I think like seven or eight sea turtles, so many different kinds of fish that I've seen in museums and even cooler ones that I've never seen in a museum. And it was so much fun. I kind of like was able to bring my GoPro down there for a lot of it. Um, and so I was able to get some really cool clips of different things. Uh, but really just being able to take in and appreciate like how diverse and unique and beautiful our world is. It like opened my eyes in a lot of ways and it was so funny because I just completely lost track of time when snorkeling. Got super burnt one day I went out, but totally worth it. The snorkeling in Hawaii was just unlike anything I like ever expected or imagined. Another experience I absolutely loved was the hikes that we went on and uh, it was just so much fun being able to see so many different topographies simply on Hawaii, if you will. Uh, we were able to see lava fields, hike into the center of a volcano, not currently active, of course, um, go into what looked like a greener version of the Grand Canyon in Kauai, um, and really just be able to hike a coastline. There were so many different um, beautiful and amazing hikes to to waterfalls and so many different things. And Hawaii was really just one of the most beautiful places that I've ever visited. And, you know, that's saying a lot for me. I, yeah, loved it. I think it's probably the only like warm place ever where I've said, oh yeah, I could live here. I'm definitely more of a, I prefer colder temperatures person. Um, but yeah, it was gorgeous. And then the final experience was also from Hawaii. And this was just like, picture that I took sort of capturing a moment and a day and that was the day we did the road to Hana and that day we went cliff jumping in this kind of like ocean pool that was so beautiful and so had so many bright colors that it like almost hurt your eyes to look at and we got to go cliff jumping there and that was absolutely incredible uh, we got to go out to see the seven sacred pools and just be able to experience the beauty of that. And then we kind of capped off the entire day visiting just a you know normal little state park um, that was just fantastically gorgeous. We saw these beautiful like lava rock formations, a black sand beach, uh, a double rainbow right before it started pouring rain we got to like explore lava tubes and this was just like all within 15 minutes that we got to do all of this and it was just this like little glimpse of how just amazing this world is and how much that like you know if you never leave your little tiny portion your corner of the world if you don't get out and kind of explore some of that you just don't realize how much is out there so yeah um overall this season specifically the last month uh has really just helped bring that back home to me and just say like wow this world that we live in is incredible and it's really inspired me to go out and want to see more of it well guys those were my favorites from the past few months those were my spring favorites uh it was a really incredible season filled with growth with being able to learn new things learn about myself about the world um, and just filled with fun and exciting experiences but I know I wasn't alone in having favorites from the spring season so let me know what were your spring saviors what were your favorites from this season uh, tell me what they were in the comments below I'd love to chat with you there 
Um, and also, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel already and are interested in seeing more content about minimalism and intentional living, I post videos twice a week on this channel and I'd love to have you join me. Just hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss another episode. That's all I have for you today though, guys. I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.